This is a Melee Compact C2. It's a decent indoor vacuum cleaner. It's expensive. I think it cost my wife like $800 or $1,000. It was not cheap. And the biggest complaint I have about it is the vacuum bags are tiny. So you have to change it out often. It's easy to change. It's just the bag is, look how small this thing is. Tiny. It is HEPA, so HEPA is good. The other complaint I have is, here's the uh, suction. It has a couple settings for flat surfaces or other surfaces, and it has decent suction. It's just not very uh, easy to maneuver. You're dragging this thing around the house. It's, you have to do one room at a time when you unplug and plug in the, the cord. Overall, it's a good, it's a, it's a good uh, vacuum. It's just expensive for what you actually get. Here's the loudness. This is my voice. It's loud, but it's not ear splitting. It's manage manageable without headphones. It also has different levels of usage. So let's just try it real quick. So this gets a little bit quieter, but not so much that it makes a big difference to me. So I just usually just leave it on max. This would be like if you're doing curtains or electronics or other stuff and you want minimum suction. This is the Dyson cordless vacuum. It's pretty compact. You can hang it up on the wall, charge it on the wall. It's battery packed. I don't know why they call this high suction versus max suction. It's basically the same thing, just a little bit more suction. And I'll show you how to clean it. That's the biggest down of any of these canister bagless vacuums. This thing was like, I don't know, two, three hundred dollars. My wife likes it because it's portable. It doesn't need a cord. If you do get this Dyson, I recommend you get, there's a uh, hanger attachment that you can buy online. This is an aftermarket one. And then uh, I recommend you buy the extra fixtures too. That way you can hang it up, put it out of your way. Nice and thin inside here now. This is just a cheap shark vacuum. This works great for carpets. Only downside is the uh, when you clean it, you have to clean it outside, as I'll show you in a minute. Let's listen to it. You also need to clean these uh, filters down here. Filter there, I usually take it out, pull it out, wash it out, dry it out.
This is a Pullman Holt vacuum. It's a HEPA. It's got three three stage filtration. I love this vacuum. It's a bit of a bear to carry around. Um, initially, there were these really small wheels under here. There were like four wheels under there, and it uh, it would always tip over. You just yank on the vacuum and it would just fall right over. They use these things in, in ho um, hospitals and so forth. And uh, what I did, I was so sick of it falling over. I took an old uh, old rolling chair and I took the wheels off and I mounted it to the bottom and now it never falls over. But it's clumsy. It's, it's a clumsy vacuum. But it is, uh, for any kind of cleanup work, it even does asbestos. And uh, if you clean it, you get it's three bags. You typically replace the first bag. And uh, when you clean it, you gotta clean it outside. And if you do any kind of cleanup work like asbestos or any really micro fine um, dust or whatever, you, you need to clean it outside. You need to be really careful about how it uh, spreads out after you uh, open up the the vacuum top, which are on the latches here. Pop that off and then every, everything comes off. And this vacuum is strong. It's got horsepower to it. And it was cheap. It was only like three, four hundred dollars. New. And uh, man, this thing is, this thing is great. But it's a, it's a big vacuum. And I'll show you how loud it is too. You gotta wear ear ear protection. It's like an advanced shop vac. Oh, that's basically what it is. It's real basic. There's nothing, no hidden compartments or laser beams shooting out of it, like the melee. Um, but I've used I've used this vacuum to its to its fullest potential. And I still love it, but my my wife likes the little vacuums that she keeps upstairs, so this one's been banned to the garage. Anyways, if you want to buy one of these, you can look up prices on uh, online. It's Pullman Hold. They got bought out by another company. And they make smaller versions, canister vacuums, all sorts of stuff. Definitely one of my favorite vacuum clean, uh, cleaners of on the market. And uh, you, this one, for sure, you got to wear earphones, ear protection. But it's worth it. I like this thing. This is just a small shop vac. Uh, it costs like 20 or $25. Really cheap. It's effective for car cleanups, car vacuuming, carpet. Um, I don't use it inside unless I have to uh, clean up something that got wet like a carpet. Um, they get dirty really quick. There's only a filter, a small filter inside. And even a larger one that I'm going to show you, it's orange. It, also only has one tiny little filter at best and uh, not for inside work it just blows the dust all over the place outside great inside nah not too not too uh, good for that kind of stuff that's why they call them shop backs